advice seekers, my name is Justin, this is Highly Marketable But Not For Sale Knife 2, and you're watching Inanimate Answers! Woohoohoo! <laughs> I thought this thing made noise! <laughs> Now, my half birthday was only two months ago, so you may notice a cute little decoration or two, please compliment them, and joining the party to wish me a happy birthday using his little face, the one and only Looney Boy, Balloon! I love him. Red? Happy to be here? Is he alive? Of course I'm alive! I'll beat you up with cuddles! <laughs> Hold on there, Knife, you, you little gamer. We're just gonna pop balloon by the end of the episode anyway. What? Check the NDA you signed. What NDA? Perfect. It was also part of the NDA to deny the existence of the NDA. You remembered! No! Everyone, this is a trap! As always, we have received advice questions from you, the viewers, to be answered by our mystery guest. Remember, no one here is a professional, and do not try to replicate any of what you see here at home. Seriously, you can get really messed up emotionally, as Balloon here has learned. Yeah, being on the show screwed some stuff up. But being at Hotel OJ is A-O-J! Ha ha! Exactly! Due to the horrific emotional destruction that Balloon here has left in his wake, we are sending him through C-D-A! Want to take a stab at what that stands for, Balloon? Oh, sure! Great! Uh C-D-A stands for Character Development Acceleration! <laughs> Actually sounds really exciting! Yeah, let's go! Now that's what I'm talking about, my second favorite contestant let's balloon. Go! Anyone who's willing to get better can get better. So, excitement is a great start. You earned yourself a one of birthday points. Points? What are points for? <laughs> what are you even for? <laughs> Don't you want to avoid popping? Oh! 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 Let's get those points! Now we're catching them all! First question comes from PK Squirtle. They ask, Dear Secret Advisor, Question. I am working for a YouTuber with editing their videos. I am so nervous as their next episode will come out very soon. Anyways, I could calm down. Oh, um, well, I also get nervous all the time trying to impress people. Back in the game, it took some time to start focusing on winning for myself, and- But it is for their job, genius. Tick-tock. Right, so I get you're nervous, even when you do a good job. To calm down, Soap told me about mindful breathing. You gotta put everything down and away, like computers and stuff. Then you sit and breathe. In and out. Think about how you're still here. You're still safe. And whatever happens this time, We'll make it through, and do even better next time. Count, if that helps. Picture the bad thoughts, each in little bubbles, and pop them one by one. They're gone, out of mind. Let yourself believe it. Everything is going to go great. Good luck with the episode, PK Squirtle. Wow, consider my bad thoughts popped away. You nailed it. The audience is really going to learn something from your growth today. And you too, right? Oh, no, 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 no. I already breathe every second of my existence. And more. CJ writes, Dear Secret Advisor, I have a question. I have a bossy older brother, he's 18, and he acts like he owns the Xbox, even though our dad does. How do I deal with this? Oh, I know that feeling. Fellas, he knows the feeling. Yeah, I'm sort of the younger bro when it comes to games. I'm not very good at them, but I'm learning from some friends at the hotel. But it feels like they always hog the system up for their cool games. But I don't know, I think I'd like something softer. And then maybe CJ and I can both ask to work out a fair schedule or something. No one's fun is any more important than anyone else's. Learning on the fly! Oh my gosh, that is so, so big brain! Yes! 8,000 birthday points! Oh great! So that means we must be almost done! <laughs> Next question. Uh, uh, but, uh, I 
A random Pearson writes, Question. So I value romance relationships a lot, and meeting that special someone is like my life goal. The problem is that I've never really felt a crush, and I don't really get how people look at someone else and just automatically think, wow, they're hot, and stuff. Do you have any idea what's going on? Please and thank you. I don't really get how they do either. Sure you do. I've seen the ship art, you champaroo. Cool. I think the idea of romance and finding someone special sounds really nice, but also it might not be for everyone. It happens when it happens for some, and for others, they might find it's not their thing. Even if they think romance is cool, try and see what works for you. Until then, I do think it's really good that the two of us have goals more about ourselves and our friends and people who matter to us, at least for now. Even if that's tough to accept, we got this. My little heart's floating away like one of those things that have strings and you let go of them and they just f -f -f float away. Oh, golly. So, I get points? Eek. Oof. Expectation of points. No, uh, that's gonna take you into the negatives. You know what happens when you assume you die. That's, that's a bad guy move. So, uh, let's see if we can try to redeem ourselves with... The next question, <laughs> assuming we don't want to get popped. <laughs> Anonymous writes, Dear Secret Advisor, are you friends with Justin? Or are you being held here against your will like Knife was last time? <laughs> he, he, he wasn't. He wasn't. Well? And neither am I, Justin! I really want to celebrate your birthday, specifically eight months late! Is this what a good person sounds like? Yes, absolutely. Use your nice voice, like moi. And with that, it will take you to about a about a four, honestly, which is which is pretty good. Better than a season one balloon. Am I right, fellas? Oh, that sounds good. Season one balloon was a three. Not quite a demon, but uh mighty close. Oh, I thought lately I've been doing pretty okay. Yeah. About that, a, a pretty okay redemption doesn't win us the Emmy. But this will. Emmy. Next question comes from Bogawap. They write, Dear Secret Advisor, how do you know if you're being a bad person to someone? Also, is water wet? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Let everyone know uh, how much of an evil, no good, very bad, sticky person you used to be, and uh, what you've learned from that experience. Birthday points await you. I don't care! <gasps> what? I don't care about these points! I don't care about this birthday party for a person I just met! And I don't care about what you think is good! <laughs> Surely you, you like the party. You're a party balloon. Doi. You keep talking to me, but you clearly have never heard me! You all want to know how to tell if you're being a bad person? A bad person doesn't think about how others feel. A bad person only does what helps themselves, like forcing people into their own birthday party or letting people feel bad so you can get farther in some dumb game. You aren't a better person by using some sweet voice and telling people you're always right. You have to do good things. I don't think I'm perfect or anything, but I do take a second to think about what's going to make people happy, and I think that's pretty good. Also, uh, water is not wet. Water makes things wet. Obviously. So there! Happy? Huh. That's fair. That's it? That's all it took? It was a very compelling argument. Someone's going to learn a whole lot about what it means to reassess yourself and how important that is. That said, since I tend to be correct about everything on the first try, I think it's about time we got back to my... Vow to Pop! Ha! <laughs> Points. Well, not this one. <laughs> oh, pop, pop. Ah! What a frick. Oh. Uh. Happy birthday. Thanks for stopping by, everyone. Um. Animation? 
Hi everyone, Knight2 here to say thanks for watching! Leave your advice questions down below and check out our Patreon for our high priority question asking space and a special Patreon thanks to AIM, Animation Matt Adams, Bacon Soup, Benzifan Animations, Blake, Cheesy Mayo 102, Diamond Kisses, Duke, Aaron, Harem Cho, Jacob Faircloud, Jordan Bauman, Chris Fisher, Lisbian Pinatas, No Wild Power of It, Oliver Tangs, Owen Peters, Prism Animations, Frey Shy, Snail Cubes, 30 Spool, Valerie BFDI Fan, Grrr, Cuddles! Hey Justin, can you send me back now? Who's Justin? Justin's been dead for 20 years! I'm deflating! I need sleep, please! Portal on the right. So long friends, stay safe, glug water, and have an inanimate day!